One of the biggest problems I notice as a fitness coach, why people struggle to reach their performance and aesthetic goals, is not having a nutritious meal when being busy or on the go. People often skip lunch, which leads to overeating in the evening, or they eat something highly processed for lunch that doesn't serve their performance goals, digestion, or general health. Salads are a great lunch option to feel satiated, but at the same time not too full so that you get sleepy. When building healthy and tasty salads, the most important thing to understand is that it comes down to your salad skills. What I mean by that is how you season your salad, what ingredients you combine, and what texture you create. As a fitness and health coach, I aspire to make every meal tasty but also nutritious, because what we eat influences how we look, perform, recover, and digest. So let me give you some really delicious and easy inspiration for meal prepping salads that are rich in protein and ready to grab when you're hangry. We get often caught up on single recipes, but this video is as always a framework for you so that you can either copy my variations or use your preferred components and adjust them in their amount according to your macros and nutritional needs. If you don't know how much protein or how many calories you should eat to reach your goal, go ahead and download my app, which calculates not only a set of macros once, but adjusts them in a weekly check-in based on the reaction of your metabolism. But now let's dive into our delicious meal prep salads. Let's start with the Mexican variation. First, we will roast peppers in the oven. I like salads much more when they also contain cooked and not only raw ingredients. Simply cut the peppers, sprinkle some olive oil over them and season them by your preference. I used salt, pepper and smoked paprika powder. And then they are ready to go into the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm always setting a timer, especially if I'm recording a video simultaneously. While our peppers are roasting, we can start prepping the protein. I'm using a vegan minced beef. This is the brand we have here in Germany that I really like in terms of taste and it also has a good amount of protein. Plus it is super easy to use. I'm just frying it for 4-6 minutes in a pan with some oil and herbs and set it aside once it has gotten a little bit brown and crispy. And then we get to the most important part of every salad and please don't skip this, the dressing. For this salad we will be making a tahini dressing with lots of fresh herbs creating this green goddess dressing style. I blended fresh basil, cilantro leaves, tahini, sheep yogurt, lemon zest, salt, pepper and garlic powder and later I added some nutritional yeast to make the dressing a little bit thicker and give it more of an umami flavor. You can certainly use other herbs as well if you don't like cilantro for example because I know that not everybody likes that strong taste. I think it is really fresh and in the past I didn't like it and now I love it for some reason. The tahini is our fat source and gives it a nutty flavor. Tahini is a paste made of sesame seeds and rich in B vitamins, phosphorus and manganese. If you don't have or like tahini, you can make this dressing with a quarter of an avocado as well. I add the sheep yogurt because it gives the sauce a creamy consistency and adds some more proteins. You can also use Greek yogurt or a plant-based option like cashew yogurt. When the dressing is prepared, we can fill up our jars. The dressing always goes to the bottom so that the other ingredients don't get soggy, especially if you want to store it for a few days. Then I'm adding canned black beans, which I rinsed before and contain lots of protein, corn for the crunch, grilled peppers and on top I added chopped salad. You could also add avocado or fried onions as an additional topping. The best thing about these salads is that they are tasty and practical. You can eat it at home or at the office or a barbecue party. Then we continue with our buffalo cauliflower salad. Roasted cauliflower tastes perfect in a salad and you can flavor it in many ways. I recently tried this buffalo marinade and I loved it. So I will show you how I did it. We will start making the marinade and roast the cauliflower first to prepare the remaining ingredients during the roasting time. For the marinade we will mix all ingredients in a small bowl. 
instead of the tomato paste, you could also use two tablespoons of a barbecue type of sauce to get even closer to this barbecue or hot sauce taste. Pour the mixture over the cauliflower and shake it until all pieces are covered. Lay the cauliflower on a piece of parchment paper and roast for about 20 minutes. Next we can prepare the protein source, which is tempeh. Tempeh is made of fermented soybeans, which makes it even easier to digest. It has a nutty flavor and it really tastes amazing. It is one of my favorite protein sources, so I really recommend you trying this. I'm cutting tempeh into slices or like this time into little cubes and roast them in a pan on medium heat with coconut oil. Use enough oil to make them golden brown. Once all pieces and sides look good, I set the pan aside and start making the dressing for this variation, which is a ranch dressing. Mix all these ingredients. I'm using a plant-based mayo, but you can also use any other type of mayo, of course. And once this is done and the cauliflower has cooled down, we can start filling the jar again. The dressing comes first, then the cauliflower, then I added some chopped lettuce. And for the carb source, I used quinoa, which I wouldn't mainly label as a carb source because it also contains a good amount of protein compared to other carb sources. And it's gluten-free in case you can't have gluten. And on top, I'm adding the tempeh. Close the jar and this beauty is finished. And finally, we come to our third salad variation, which is a Mediterranean salad. This one is made of roasted vegetables, which we will start with first. I cut eggplants, zucchini and carrots into small pieces and roast them with olive oil, garlic powder and Mediterranean herbs for 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. During that time, I'm preparing the cup source of this salad, which is orzo. I lived in Greece, on Crete specifically, and orzo is a typical cup source they use in salads. It looks like rice, but it's pasta. So we will cook the pasta for six to seven minutes in salted water and rinse them afterwards. This way the pasta doesn't get too soft. Then we mix all the ingredients for the dressing. Of course, for a Mediterranean style, we make a hummus dressing. I love hummus so, so much and it's amazing paired with roasted vegetables. So we will mix the hummus, lemon juice, maple syrup and salt. You can also make hummus very easily by yourself, to be honest, which I didn't do here to save some time. And I like the one we have at our grocery store, but maybe I do one time a video about how to make a good hummus. But for this video, we will save that. And the last ingredient to prepare is the protein source of this Mediterranean salad. And I decided to use some boiled eggs, which is honestly the best way you can make eggs for salads because you can chop them, you can cut them easily into pieces and it's delicious and you have a good source of protein and a good source of fats because the egg yolk contains really good and healthy fats as well. So I boil the eggs for eight minutes, which makes them completely cooked, but not dry. And make sure to cool the eggs under cold water before peeling, otherwise they might get dry. So let's start filling the jar. The last time in this video, you guys know the game by now. Dressing first, then the roasted vegetables. It's actually best when they are completely cooled off so that no condensate builds up. Next, I'm adding the orso pasta and lastly the eggs on top. I can recommend feta and olives as additional toppings as well that fit really, really good to all the ingredients that we have in this Mediterranean gorgeous salad. And with that, I would say it's a wrap and we have created three beautiful jars packed with healthy proteins, carbs, fats and fiber ready to go and ready to eat. As always, thank you so much for watching and let me know which of these salads you would try or maybe you create a similar one and swap 
one or two ingredients based on your taste. And if you need more summer recipes and a home meal plan, check out my new summer special in my app. You will find the link to the app in the description below this video. The app helps you to build muscle, lose fat or maintain your weight. And if you feel overwhelmed finding the right goal for you in this season, then download my free goal guide, which you will also find in the description below this video.